Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Today we're going to take a look at the wonderful new system for doing Legends in Manifold System Release 9. Uh, as you can see, we're working with Manifold System Release 9 here. This is a uh, Windows 11 that we're working with, a Windows 11 installation. And uh, all this works in the free Manifold Viewer as well. We're looking at a map that shows uh, uh, a variety of buildings and other layers in Monaco, like transportation layers, and it's got a uh, canvas uh, world dark gray base uh, background. Uh, layer from a map server. So let's add, la add a legend to this and uh, we're going to use the layers pane for that. To do that, to work with that, we're going to click on the layers tab right here in uh, the panes. I have all the panes docked to the left of my uh, uh, Windows display. And you can see this has all the different layers. For example, we can turn on uh, railroads and on and off and turn roads on and off. And here are the buildings, turn those off and on. And what we want to do is we want to create a legend that shows all these things here. So how do we do that? There's a virtual layer here called legends called legend and uh, to turn on the legend we just click that on there we just created a legend I mean could it get any easier than that uh, I don't think so uh, so as you can see this is the default le uh, legend structure and uh, what it does is it shows uh, uh, the uh, thematic formatting for the uh, buildings layer and uh, the thematic formatting for the roads layer using uh, the different uh, fields this is buildings and that's the field that's used and, and these are roads and the, the F class is the uh, field that's used all this data comes from uh, OpenStreetMap, by the way, so that's why you have uh, fields like uh, F class and uh, you know various classifications like this. And uh, we can customize a legend easily enough. That's that's easy to do. Uh, and there's uh, two ways that we can customize legends. First, we can decide exactly what layers we want to show and what layers we don't want to show. To do that, we use the layers pane, and then I'll click here in the fil filter button, and I'll and I'll click on Show Legend Mode, and that'll show the the various classifications uh, of what we can do. So, for example, if we don't want to show something. Uh, for example, we don't want to show the buildings. We can change that. Uh, we can double click on, on this entry here and we can change the setting from full, short, auto full, auto short to none. Uh, auto full means show the whole thing, the entire contents of the legend. For example, if there's a thematic for format. And uh, auto means for automatic. If the layer is visible, uh, show it. If not, uh, turn it off. So let's see how that works. For example, here, uh, the roads layer is set to auto full. If I turn off the roads layer in the layers pane, watch this, it disappears from the legend. And if I turn that on again, uh, the uh, roads layer, you know, the classifications of the roads layer uh, show up. If I want to reduce that, I can turn it to auto short, which is just a short entry. For example, it just shows one little sample here for the roads, just one sample line, instead of showing the full thematic format. Let's do that for the buildings as well. So let's change that from auto full to auto short. And uh, what's the difference between short and auto short? Well, uh, that just, uh, is uh, whether it appears whether you turn the layer on and off. So if we always want the buildings layer to be on, we can just turn, change that to short. And now, whether we turn it on or off, the buildings layer still remains in the legend, as you can see there. We can change that to full if we want to see the full thematic format for the buildings, whether or not the layer is on and off. And I can double click that layer on and off either in the map window, in the lower tab here, or in the layer tab here. So uh, that's the difference. By default, uh, the uh, settings are auto full. If we don't want to show something at all, for example, we, want, we don't want to, and notice that the, there's no places uh, turned on here. If I turn on the places layer, uh, that, that's automatically on there. If I never want to show the places layer, I can just change that to uh, none. And when you see that there's an empty en entry there, that means it's not going to appear in the layer in the, uh, in the uh, legend at all. Let's turn that back to uh, auto full so that it automatically turns on and off as we turn that on and, on and off. Now we can, we can, uh, uh, adjust the layer here. We can uh, customize the layer in terms of formatting. I'm going to turn the roads layer back to auto full because I kind of like it that way. That shows uh, all these nice little things here. And uh, to do that, we can uh, double click the legend. So for example, one of the things we can ch choose that works in, in the le le uh, legend dialog is uh, we can choose where the position of the uh, legend is. We can move it to the left or the uh, left top. So, so now, and I click the apply button and that applies changes in the settings. So you can see we've moved the position of the legend from the left bottom to the left top, or I can put it to the left center. Click apply. There, that's that. Suppose I want to change uh, what the text uh, and uh, background looks like here. So, or or let's, uh, let's, try, let's change the width. For example, the size instead of 180, let's change that to a 120 to make it a shorter, uh, a narrower la la legend. So there's 120. Um, Let's make it even short, even thinner than that. Let's make it 100. See how that works. There we go. And uh, suppose I want to change the colors in here. Well, that's easy enough to do. Uh, let's change that 
the the foreground color if we change it to green will then turn some, then it looks something like that that's kind of icky but what I'll do is I'll turn change this to white the text to white and here the background color let's make it a kind of like a dark gray kind of like that click apply and there as you can see it's extremely easy to customize the legend uh, and uh, we can change a, a variety of things here for example we can change the uh, uh, the uh, text headings and these are text headings up here we can change the text settings from the right we can change those to the uh, left and I click apply excuse me I change, I change that to center let's change that to left let's click it more accurately click apply and we can, you can see how it's done that and if I like I can change the uh, the font here let's change that to uh, this is off screen so I'm going to change it to Sequoia and uh, off screen I'll ch choose more and let's change that to Sequoia bold click OK and I'll click apply and you can see this is bolder color uh, when when the text headings are in white they're harder to see that they're bolder uh, but you know that's the way they are and let's change the uh, entries for uh, multiple uh, which is are these where where the uh, there are multiple layers uh, m multiple entries for a particular format let's change that from the left to uh, the right and let's see how that works so you can see how that that's uh, that's changing and uh, Hmm. Let's uh, let's change the uh, font for those from uh, to uh, Segoia, and we're going to change the font for that. Also, we're going to make that. Uh, let's change that uh, Segoia. Let's make it light. Let's see what that does. Click OK and uh, click Apply, and you can see I've just made that light. Uh, as you can see, you can just uh, you know play with this stuff all day long to change it however you like. Uh, let's, let's change that to center apply and uh, you can uh, customize legends however you want and uh, all that's gonna look uh, really cool let's click uh, OK and leave the legend as, as we see it there so uh, how does this interrelate with leg legends as they're used in layouts and the answer is simple the default look of the legend uh, as it appears in a layout is going to be taken from uh, whatever settings we've set we've set here so for example if uh, the roads are auto full so that you know you, you get the full setting here and we change that from auto full to uh, auto short to make it a simpler legend if we now create a, a legend for the layout the legends gonna by default start looking start by looking like this uh, let's uh, let's change that to uh, back again to uh, auto full and if we change it like this in the in the map then the default uh, look for the legend for that map uh, if we have a map have that map as a window in a, in a, le in a, le in a layout uh, is going to, to is going to look like this and let's go to a layout because here in the project I've already created a layout and uh, I'll double click that layout on and now let's add a legend to this layout the the way we add legends to layout has been simplified as well what we do is uh, we uh, go here into the uh, mode button and you can see our various options to create a north bar north arrow scale bar text or whatever we're going to create a legend and we're going to click a legend here and wherever we click a legend the legend is going to take its contents uh, from the uh, layout frame in this case we have one layout frame it's just the map uh, and it's going to take its contents from there so let's click the legend right there and there you can see the legend has been created and uh, what the legend doesn't do though is that the legend does not take the background because uh, we might want uh, to, the background to be uh, different so uh, for example we might want to uh, make the background uh, transparent Let's click OK. Click, click Update Frame, and now we've updated the frame so the legend's transparent. Uh, but as you can see, the legend that we've created here, and I'm going to all click here outside so you can see what the legend looks like without the legend frame on it. Uh, the, as you can see, the legend was initially created uh, from uh, the full settings for both roads and for buildings. So let's get rid of this legend. I'm going to Control click that and then here in the layers pane I'm going to just you know, get rid of that so now we no longer have a, a, a legend in the layout frame let's go back here to the map and in the map what I'm going to do is I'm going to change how the roads are uh, visualized instead of uh, being full a full setting for them I'm just going to uh, double click on that and choose auto short so now the roads are simpler as you can see that legend simpler okay now let's add a legend to the layout again you'll see this time the legend will appear create legend uh, using a simpler legend style uh, what it does is uh, the the style that's used uh, for the legend in terms of uh, what fields appear in the legend are taken from uh, you know from the map window and uh, if I want to customize the legend again we can go into here into the legend dialog and customize all that to our hearts content for example let's change that 
text to uh, white and uh, the the uh, background color to uh, oh, it's a nice dark color, dark gray, 70%. There, click OK. Notice that this doesn't have an apply uh, button here for the legend. That's probably going to be added in future builds. Uh, as you can see, uh, layers of uh, legends and layers and stuff are being uh, uh, updated all the time. They're gaining lots of new capabilities. So that's the sort of thing that, that'll get added. Click update frame and there. Okay, let's go back to the map here and uh, let's take a look at one more thing because you might want to know, uh, okay, how are leg legends uh, stored in map maps? And the answer is uh, uh, the actual information for a, a legend in a map is, is, uh, is a property of the map. So if I right click on the on map here and I choose properties, uh, you can see that right here there's the, uh, there's the legend entry. So if I like, I can uh, double click into that and control A, control C. Okay, that's, uh, I've just copied that. And uh, let's create a comments pane and a com comments component. And in the comments component, I'll just uh, I'll save that entry. And uh, that's the uh, entry for the uh, uh, the JSON entry the, for what constitutes the uh, legend. And if I ever want to recreate that legend again, I can uh, I can do that easily enough. Uh, so for example, let's uh, let's go into here into the properties, and I'm going to just delete this entry. Click OK, and uh, now what happens is that the legend legend is deleted because there's 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 no default uh, information for the legend. And uh, let's go here into the layers pane. If I turn the legend back on, you'll see it's now uh, default uh, uh, legend using the various settings. It's not in in the center, and it's not with the colors that uh, as I've changed it. If I want to get the change the legend back to the way it was, uh, that's easy enough to do here in the map. I can uh, right click. First in the comments pane, I'm going to go here and comments uh, component. I'll open that. Control A to select everything. Control C to uh, copy. And here in the map, let's uh, let's edit the properties. And uh, what I can do is here, you can see there's 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 absolutely no JSON information for customizing it. I can double click that, uh, select it all, click Control V, uh, click Enter, and then click OK and I just customized the legend back to where it was. It's all the various style settings and other information for how the uh, legend is supposed to work with this map uh, are just kept inside that uh, uh, JSON string that's part of the map properties. And that's the same as uh, all the various other sorts of virtual layers that, uh, you know, that might appear here. For example, the, uh, uh, you know, North Arrow. And uh, let's uh, edit the North Arrow. Let's uh, turn it into something like this and let's make it, uh, let's make it 64 points and size and uh, all the rest of it. So these are just extremely easy things that can be turned on and off. And uh, the setting for it is remembered. So even after I uh, close this uh, project uh, or close this map and bring it back up, up, up again, whenever I turn on the legend, that's always going to be there because it, it is, after all, now property of the map. All right, let's summarize what we've learned so far uh, in this video. And what we've seen is that there's a, a new system for creating uh, legends and maps. And uh, to create a simple legend and a map, uh, we simply use the layers pane here and we uh, turn the legend virtual layer on and off and then we can customize it as we see fit and there's two ways of customizing it we can just uh, change you know what the settings uh, we want for the various layers how those are you know put into that automatically created uh, legend and then we can c change uh, uh, the legend uh, uh, properties itself you know the various characteristics of the legend uh, using the uh, legend dialog and the idea that's a simple and easy way of creating legends and then what we can do is we can add uh, a legend to the layout, which will inherit, you know, the basic style and such that we've taken, that we've created in terms of which layers are involved and so forth. Uh, we created in the map by simply going here, choosing the create legend pane, create legend uh, uh, cursor mode, and we're here in, now in the layout topic, la layout um, a window, and click where we want that uh, legend to go, and there the legend appears. And uh, that's a very simple and easy thing that we've done. We've created now created a new le a legend that we can turn on and off and it's in that uh, default format, and that's wonderful. Now, those people who have worked with Release 9 in the past understand that Release 9 has a, a really sophisticated system for uh, creating all sorts of intricate uh, uh, legends and um, layouts and customizing all this stuff. This is, this is a bit different than the idea of creating a simple, automatically created legend for a map, but to, uh, but to do a legend and a layout which is very, uh, you know, arbitrarily, uh, uh, sophisticated and uh, intricate as and however we want. We don't have that in this case, we just have a sim simple frame. And what happened to the uh, system with all the different frames? Uh, well, that's still there. 
Uh, it, we just have a different way of getting to it. And uh, the, what we do now is instead of having just a simple one frame legend, if we want to get back to that old system where each element of the, of the uh, legend is its own frame, we simply right click on legend and we choose split into samples. And what that's going to do, it's going to take the original legend, which is still here, it's just been turned off, and it's now created a folder full of frames up here, which duplicate that same thing. If I turn off that folder, turn off all those item, uh, items uh, altogether on and off, you can see that that's exactly equivalent to this legend frame. The legend frame is still there and when we, after we split it into samples, and it's still there in case we might want to uh, you know, start, start afresh with uh, what we created. Um, but just in case it's still there, it's just turned off. And uh, we have this new legend folder, which is full of all the different uh, frames here as individual frames. For example, here in the legend pane, I can right click here and choose active. And there we've just activated that frame where I can alt click here and uh, choose these different frames. And when I alt click the different frames that are uh, like that, the info pane automatically turns on. So we can see, you know, how all these different settings are. And those same settings are there for each of these individual frames exactly the way they were in the, in the full uh, uh, system, which it has just a formidable number of options, which allows you to basically arbitrarily customize the look and stuff. So, for example, we want to change the sample shape to uh, hexagon. Uh, click update frame. Well, we can do that. Let's change the sample shape to uh, diamond. Update frame. So now we're using a diamond instead of a uh, in, instead of that uh, you know skewed uh, uh, area sample. And if we want to uh, uh, extend that to all the other different frames, we can just select all those. And, and now what I can do is up here uh, choose same format. And when let's say, you can see only this one has a diamond frame. Let's let's make them all the same format. That'll apply to all selected frames. And now all the selected frames are the, that diamond frame. And uh, we can deselect that. And you can see that's what the uh, what, that's what the frame looks like. We've just changed that. So we can. Uh, arbitrarily customize legends you know to to our heart's desire the same way we did in the old system we just uh, do that one trick of uh, we right click and choose split into samples and, and and that does it for us so I hope you've enjoyed this video it's a, a remarkable number of uh, new capabilities uh, the, th the key thing to learn is that um, when we create legends for maps those are simple legends that are just automatically created and you have a limited uh, amount of customizability uh, the idea is the default way of creating a legend in the in, in, a, in a map uh, in a layout is the same way. It's just it's created as a single uh, uh, frame. And again, that's the idea is to keep it really simple and really easy to use. Uh, but if we want the fully customizable system, well, we still have that as well. We can just take that simple legend and split it into individual frames. And then we can you know customize it to our heart's content. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, tell your friends about Manifold. Tell them all about Vera too. Uh, and uh, uh, make sure you click on that like button so uh, to help us out with uh, you know videos so more people can see them. Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.